Hey, good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. We're dealing with spring in the middle of the week, but all social media and online is a buzz about maybe some snow this weekend. Been seeing some of the guidance, but I'll tell you, it's not as clear cut as many people would like you to believe. There's a possibility we could see some wet snowflakes outside of the mountains, but it's one of those weird setups where everything has to work right and we've got to produce our own cold air from this upper low. I'll, I'll explain. Uh, first, let's start with the wider view here. We've got this low pressure system off to the west. We're on the warm side of it right now. In fact, temperatures are crazy warm today. Temperatures in many areas are running way above average. We're going to see a lot of 60s and 70s shooting up into the Carolinas. There's a low pressure system here that comes through Thursday, Friday, but it's an upper low, which is still not even on the map. That's going to affect us going into Saturday and Sunday, and that's the one we're watching. So let's break this down with our future cast. All right, so let's get right to it. I am showing you the GFS model because this is the model that is the most bullish with the potential for some wintry weather this weekend. But I'll be honest with you, it is probably a little bit out to lunch. It's an outlier, but I want to show you the extreme outlier, and I'll tell you why it's probably a little wacky and what the other guidance is looking at. Because you got to look at a holistic approach to this. One single model run or one single model isn't going to do you any favor. So this is the cold front coming through Thursday into Friday. This is not really the main system. This moves through, kind of pushes off to the east, and gets stalled. So basically what's going to happen is there will be a stalled cold front here. It's going to meander in that area. Low pressure is going to form along this front and ride up the east coast. The big player in this is this thing right here. This is an upper low. An upper low is low pressure at the mid or upper levels of the atmosphere, not down at the surface. Why is this important? Because this is going to bring cold air from the upper levels of the atmosphere down to the ground. It's not going to be cold enough at the surface for this to start. So this will be an interesting setup. These upper lows are pretty notorious for being uh, tough to forecast and doing crazy things. There's this old saying uh, for, for, for weathermen, but now weather people, um, you know, upper low weatherman's woe. There's a reason for that. I would say it's upper low forecaster's woe because it's very difficult to forecast and they tend to do crazy things. So this is going into the weekend. So this is basically tomorrow's the ninth. So this is going to be early Saturday morning. You can see it's all rain in the Carolinas, but see this upper low. This is a pocket of cold air at around 5,000 feet. Basically means the cold air would be down close to the surface. So in these situations, when you get heavy precipitation, it can dynamically cool or what we call um, evaporatively cool the surface air or bring cold air down to the surface, essentially. So we go into Saturday afternoon. It's all raining except for the highest elevations of the mountains. We go through time as the upper low gets intense. It starts pulling cold air to the surface and there's a pocket of snow developing. Now, here's the thing. It, it could be a cold, miserable rain or it could be a big burst of wet, heavy snow. It's a really fine line because the heavier the precipitation, the more likely it is to bring cold air down to the surface. So it could go from a heavy rain to all of a sudden some big fat wet snowflakes. Because ideally what's going to happen is it'll be snowing everywhere above our heads. It's just going to be melting on the way down. The areas where the cold air is deeper or gets closer to the surface is where you're going to end up seeing it stay snow a little bit longer. So you could see this is going into Sunday morning, a big burst of snow, and then it pushes off to the east quickly. But What's tough about forecasting these is it literally could be snowing heavily right here and it could be above freezing all in these areas around. So it's a it's like it's like trying to forecast a specific thunderstorm in one spot um, a couple days out. And I'll kind of show you what this looks like in the upper levels. This is the uh, the 850 millibar temperatures. So we're looking for areas where it's going to be below zero Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to be areas of blue. So we go into the weekend. You see some of it tries to make it down here mainly in the mountains, right? So this is going into Sunday morning, but look what happens uh, early Sunday morning. Some of the cold air, you see the areas in blue? It's below zero Celsius. That's cold enough for snow. Some areas it's above freezing. So look how narrow it is. It's actually too warm up here, 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 but these narrow bands are where you could see it be cold enough for a little bit of snow. Now this is the European guidance. If you look at the GFS guidance, it has it bluer, if you will, colder. See right there? It's colder, so that's why it's a little more bullish. But look at that narrow area. This is not a big area where there's a cold enough to snow. So we look at the ensembles. And the ensembles, if you're not familiar with this, instead of looking at one single model run, we can take that single model run and make small variations. Is it a little bit warmer, a little bit colder? Is it a little bit further north, south? We call it perturbed members, basically making small changes and then rerunning the simulation. And if you see um, on Sunday, 
there are quite a few members that have a little bit of snow, but the mean is only a trace on the GFS. So even the GFS, even though it's deterministic model, which I just showed you is crazy with snow, it's GFS, the GFS ensembles aren't as bullish. They show some snow, but more of a trace amount. European model, believe it or not, even though it's a little less bullish in the deterministic, it's a little bit more bullish in the ensemble. So you could see there's many more uh, versions here of 51 of them. You could see a couple have some heavier snow and the mean is about three tenths of an inch. So both models are hinting that there could be some wet snow mixing in, but more than likely it's not going to be a ton of snow. So let's look at the probabilities of seeing one inch of snow from these guidance, because I think this is the way to look at it. Instead of showing you a snowfall map, which is highly unlikely, let's look at the chances of us getting one inch of snow east of the mountain. So we'll go into Sunday morning. I'm going to go all the way into Sunday afternoon and Monday morning. So Super Bowl Sunday. The highest chance of seeing one inch or more is in the mountains. East of the mountains, there's a chance, but you're looking at single percentages, 10% in Charlotte, maybe 20% north side of Greensboro, but 12 there, 12 in, in Raleigh, 18 in Hickory. Not a huge percentage. That's the, the European ensemble. Let's take a look at, oh, excuse me, let's back this up. Let's take a look at the GFS version of the same thing, right? What's the probability of seeing one inch of snow? We'll go into the weekend and we'll go through time. It's a little more robust. You could see some areas around Charlotte around 23%. And then in the central North Carolina, there's a couple spots near almost 50%. So even in this guidance, you're looking at a 10 to 20% chance of maybe one inch of snow. It's relatively low right now. It's going to be wet. It's going to be heavy it's going to have a tough time getting down to the surface. So we're really going to be focusing on kind of threading the needle with this system. So is there a chance that we could see some wet snowflakes east of the mountain Sunday? Right now, I would say yes, but the probability is pretty low and forecasting where that's going to happen is incredibly difficult. Now, this could all go away if things warm up or the upper load doesn't come together as well. Um, it could go away quickly. So this is not a really big threat for snow right now. It's just one of those things that could be fun to watch. It's Super Bowl Sunday. It's going to be really warm leading up to it. We could have cold, cold rain and then all of a sudden a quick change over to snow. I'll be doing a vlog every day this week uh, talking about the potential for this because I do think it's something to keep an eye on. But right now you see the probabilities. Again, if I go through the end of the weekend, I'm going to go through Monday morning. There's the probabilities of one inch of snow in the GFS. We could see that the European is much less bullish. It's more around 10%. So I think those are going to lay out kind of where we are right now. Stay tuned. Could be an interesting ride. Remember, upper lows, forecasters, whoa. <laughs>